Now, Keynote can actually handle a lot of different things right within my Keynote slides. So I can insert shapes and I can insert clip art using this plus sign here and going into the shape tool. But it also has the ability to insert tables of information. It can insert charts. Or my favorite is over here, I have the ability to insert media. So this insert plus sign here with the media button gives me a lot of different things that I can choose from. I can choose to insert photos or videos right from my iPad into my keynote presentation. I can use the camera app to actually take pictures. Uh, I could actually record my own audio clip. So maybe I wanted to record an audio button or record something in audio that's gonna live on my slide. Uh, web video would be things like YouTube. So if I had a link that I wanted to insert a YouTube video, I can do that. Uh, an image gallery is kind of cool. This is the ability to insert essentially a slideshow of images in your page. So right here where it has a plus sign, I can hit plus and choose photo and it's gonna open up my photo library. But this time, instead of choosing one photo, I can simply go through and choose a number of different photos and hit add and then they will show up in my presentation like a slideshow. I can give captions underneath them if I want, and then there'll be an arrow that I can either tap or swipe once I'm playing my presentation to go from picture to picture. I can also tap that same plus sign, and in the media button, I have the ability to insert files from the files app. So anything I have saved in my files app, I can insert those directly in here as well. And my favorite possibly is the ability to insert drawings. And so what drawings give me the ability to do is to draw right within my slide. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign here and I'm gonna start with a new slide and I'm gonna go to a slide that just has a title and that's it. I'm gonna move my title up here at the top and I'm gonna hit my plus sign again and go to my media and I'm gonna insert a drawing. And so what this does is this allows me to draw things with my uh, finger or stylus directly into my slide. So I have a series of tools down here to choose from. I can change colors of those tools. I can also tap on those tools and can get different widths of my uh, pen or different opacities depending on how dark or um, light I want it to be. Um, I also can erase things. I can fill things with a paint bucket. And then you basically have a marker tool, a thin or pencil tool and a crayon to be able to draw and color with. Uh, this tool here is a selection tool that allows you to drag around something to select it to be able to move it around. So if I wanted to draw something in my app, I could simply tap on the marker. I would change my color to whatever color I want it to be. Maybe I want red. And I'm going to have some text show up on my page that I have written on there like so. Now, once I've drawn, and finish drawing, in the upper left hand corner, there is a done button. And when I hit done, this now becomes an object that I can move around. I can resize it, I can reposition it, I can move it anywhere I want. So now that I have my drawing, let's say I wanna animate it. So I can simply tap on my drawing here and a menu pops up. And in this menu, there's an option that says animate. Now I can animate just about anything in Keynote. And I can animate it one of two ways. I can either choose to add an action, which will make it just do something on the page. So for example, I could have it spin, I could have it get bigger or smaller, bounce it, flip it, um, pop it, all kinds of fun things. I'll let you play around with those. Or if I wanted to, I can add what's called a build in or build out. Um, a build in and out is how it's going to appear on the page. So instead of just bouncing and moving on the page nonstop, this is something where it will animate in and then sit there. And then if I add a build out, then it will disappear in a certain way. The really cool thing about animations when you do drawing is if I simply tap on that drawing and I do a build in with things that are drawn, there's an option to do what's called a line draw. And what a line draw will do is this will actually animate the drawing in the exact pattern that I used to draw it in. So it will animate that drawing and it animates it in the exact way that I chose to draw it. So if I choose to animate drawings, I can do a line draw build in for those things to draw in. 
Now that is simply animating a drawing, but let's say I wanted to animate something else. I could animate text, I can animate basically anything I can tap on, I can animate. So if I go back to my main slide here and I would simply tap on my book icon here, um, again, tap with my finger, the little options pop up and I want animate, I could maybe add an action and I want this to be a jiggle button. Now a few other things I can do with my keynote here. Um, is if I wanted to uh, change the order of an animation, I would simply tap on uh, that book. And when I go to animate, I have these three lines up here at the top. This will show me when the animations appear. And I can simply rearrange these to control what things happen at what order. So that's a simple way to add some other animations and effects to your keynote.